Hey guys, welcome to another Hunter video. I am a Night of Hunter on the Whisper Wind server. And actually, I had a Aldwar video uh, where I fought the first boss, the Flame Leviathan. But I don't know how or why, but I deleted the entire video. So now I'm going to show you uh, just a video of the damage that I do as a Beastmaster Hunter, now with the new changes. I didn't actually record how much damage I did prior uh, to the 3.1 patch. However, just know that I know for sure we do get uh, some extra DPS as, as a Beastmaster Hunter. And so I'm going to fight this without any buffs, without any food buffs, and uh, without any other flasks or anything else other than just the personal buffs that you do have. And uh, as I start, I pop all my cooldowns at uh, the right times, and I keep Serpent Sting up as well as uh, a few other things and I'm gonna fight until I run out of mana and here I am out of mana and uh, right now my DPS is 2500 and it's slowly dropping because my serpent sting hasn't been removed uh, from the target so it just kept going down and down and now it's about 2400 and uh, I'm just gonna show you what type of damage has been done the pet right now has done a damage of 36% of my overall damage. Most of uh, my damage has been from auto shot, ha as it always has been. The unfortunate part is that although um, pets do get more spell hit from uh, my hit, the thing is, spirit strike from my spirit beast still misses quite often. Uh, I think about uh, 10 or 30% um, in this instance. And so here's my top four damages: uh, Serpent Sting, Arcane Shot, Steady Shot, and Auto Shot, which is 50% of the damage. So personally, I had to give up some some of my pet's old talent points, which I was used to, in order to spec into the two new talent points, uh, which is Wild Hunt and Shark Attack. So I had to get rid of Improved Cower, which lowers uh, my pet's damage by 20%. Uh, very often whenever it used cower and as well as heart of the phoenix which was a good utility if your pet suddenly died in combat and if it was a boss fight you wanted him back as fast as possible uh, I'm gonna show you my DPS as my second uh, spec and that spec is basically a off tank hunter um, I'm not sure how successful I'll be I'll test that out later and if it doesn't work maybe I'll spec into survival another very uh, very nice talent tree so I'm gonna call out uh, my little my favorite tenacity pet mud pie and uh, this pet is a crocodile class or crocodile family pet and the very nice thing you could say either good or bad about this but uh, when a hunter has the, uh, his pet out and he uh, respecs or goes into a different spec, then all the pet's talents get reset. And I, I for one think this is great because I could use these uh, reset talents and I could spec into whatever I want in terms of if this boss fight, boss fight needs more AOE uh, damage reduction or if it needs more just pure damage, then I can uh, spec accordingly. And so with this uh, secondary talent tree, um, what I do is I spec the most into health of myself, my pet, and try to maximize the DPS of my pet the most, and I kind of put myself second. And I'm gonna just see the DPS of uh, this tanking class, or this tanking spec. So I pop in all my cooldowns. Trinkets and Bestial Wrath and uh, Rapid Fire. And I'm not using multi shot in this rotation because it's a little it's a little biased. Um, if I use multi shot, I'll get the two uh, enemies to the left and right of this training dummy here. And in the end, uh, the the total DPS of this uh, spec. 
kind of goes even around um, 1800 to 1900 DPS. I have a little screen tearing there. I get that from time to time um, in heavy populated areas. So there you go. Now my pet is about 26% of uh, my total DPS. A lot less damage, however, I have a lot more tanking capabilities as well as healing capabilities of both myself and my pet. And so, that's actually not the uh, the equipment I'll be using while in the spec. This right now is the uh, equipment I'll be using, and I have about 2500 or 2600 um, HP, and my pet has about 2200 HP. And I could spec accordingly to get a little more deterrence or a little more HP out of this uh, this spec and equipment. And this is still all without food buffs and stamina buffs and everything else that uh, could possibly take my pet and myself up to around hopefully 30k for me and maybe 25 or 26k for my pet. So here are just a few options. I could get more uh, resistance for um, you know, ele elements, or more resistance uh, for stun attacks, more resistance for AOE attacks, and whatever I want. So thanks for watching, and I'll have more next time.